Hello, Necrobard here with a quick tutorial on how to make ridiculously large uh, doors with rotors in Space Engineers. Uh, I have three examples I'm going to show you. The first one is a large door using one rotor, which identifies the problem of creating large doors. Two is the door I set up using two rotors and a single door. And three will be my example of showing you how to build these using merge blocks. So without further ado, I'll show you the problem that happens when you have one rotor on a door. Turn the rotor up to max velocity and you'll kind of see what happens. It, uh, it explodes. A lot. Uh, because it's wobbling on the end, because it's unstable, because it's too big. So to correct this problem, what I did is I created one that has a rotor on both ends. This gives it fantastic stability and it's able to spin. Not quite as quickly for some reason, it must be a bug on how it connects, but considering I thought the game would crash when I tried to do this anyway, uh, they move fast enough. So what I'm going to do is go in here and turn the velocity up on this rotor, and on the other one as well. This should be moving faster, I don't know, oh, i got to take the braking torque off the other one. There we go. They must have been fighting each other. I, you gotta be careful when you place the second rotor to make sure it's lined up the same way the first one is, but either way, this is spinning the same speed as the other one, but it is not crashing into the station that it's attached to at all. Alright, so my final example is to show you how to set this up. And what we have here is, it's the giant door on with two rotors on both ends, and I set it up here with two merge blocks in the middle. The trick is, uh, since they added that one patch with the rotors, you're able to adjust the displacement on the rotors. So what you do is make sure you have both rotors set to negative 20 centimeters. It's the furthest they'll go apart, which will allow you to place the merge block on both sides, as you saw before. And once the merge blocks are in place, what you want to do is go back in here and set the value on both rotors to zero. But as you can see, the merge block colors on the left there, they're now the same color, meaning the blocks are connected. I set the other rotor to zero to make sure it spins proper. Now what I can do is jack up the speed on this one. And jack down the speed on this one. And we got this one spinning now. And if you want for aesthetic purposes, since they are does count as one ship entity now in game, you can delete those merge blocks and replace them with uh, armor or anything. So that's it. Uh, I'll be uploading this world to the workshop so you can see how it's done or take a drive for yourself. Thanks.